In this video, I'll show you how to make the animated message pop-up effect like this. Here I have used Hitfilm Express, so let's begin. So as you can see, we are on Hitfilm Express. So first of all, let's make a composite shot. I'll set here duration, I think, uh, 7 seconds. 7 seconds will be sufficient. And then let's drag our footage here. So as you can see, this is a simple stock image. So before that, so we need to track this mobile. So first of all, let's make a point layer. And apply the tracking here. So as you can see, our tracker is properly tracking the mobile. And here you just change the layer to our point layer and hit the apply. So as you can see our point is properly tracking. Now our next step is to make the message bubble. So how to do that? So first of all, let's make an, another composite shot. Let's rename it as a say a message pop up. And in this composite shot, I have already downloaded a message pop up image. You can also make this by yourself using Photoshop or any other tool, or you can even download also. So let's adjust it first. And over this message pop up, I'm going to write a text. Let's increase the size. And now in this message box, we have to make the pop-up effect. So how to do that? So then go to the uh, message box image and here you should apply the keyframe. Go to the scale property and change it to zero and activate the keyframe. For now let's disable this text layer and after a few frames you just raise this keyframe up to say 1110 and after a few frames just change it to 100 so that you can have a bounce effect. Let's select all the keyframes and activate the manual bezier so that your animation becomes smooth. Now you activate the text layer and make it parent to the bubble image so that your text can also animate with the message bubble. So as you can see both the image and the text are popping up. So your next step is to drag this composite shot to our main footage. So this is the composite shot of the message box and I'm going to drag here. Let's reduce the scale. Now here I'm going to make it three dimension so that it can align with the edges of the mobile. So let's make it 3D. Let's Let's adjust its position. So it's done. So your next step is to make it parent to our main point layer. Because our point layer is our tracking point. Now as you can see, so our message box is tracking the mobile simultaneously. So that's it. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button, leave your comments and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.